We're going to be taking Camper into the tackle shop in Tinkerbell's for the very first time in his young life. Anything you touch, we're going to buy. Let's see how he does with the polar bear. He's going to freaking bark it. I already know. Oh, gosh. Dude, this might be a really big fish. Oh, my gosh. Hold on a sec. <laughs> dude. What's up, dude? Today, we are at one of my favorite stores and a place where I have spent entirely way too much freaking money over the past couple years. Cabela's. It is not just an ordinary day of tackle shopping here in Cabela's though. This is a very special day. Whoa. Simba. We're going to be taking Camper into the tackle shop into Cabela's. Dude, you're getting freaking hefty, man. For the very first time in his young life. He's only one year old. He's never been in Cabela's and they actually allow dogs. I, I'm pretty sure this one does. But uh, yeah, man, we're in Maine. We're going to check out the tackle shop and we have something cool we're going to be doing with this boy right here. He's sniffing around. Dude, you better go potty out here. We're not we're not doing that. Oh, there he goes. This is going to be your initiation, man. Sit. We're going to have a mission briefing, okay? First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the fishing section. And anything that you touch... Yes, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Hey, listen. Hey. Anything you touch, we're going to buy. All right? Hopefully it's nothing too freaking expensive. You boop, we scoop. You boop, I buy. All right, Paul. Good boy. Other Paul. Good boy. Let's get into Cabela's. Oh, there's another dog. Look. You can't have dogs in here. Let's go to Camper Friend. Appreciate it, my guy. I feel like we gotta buy popcorn now. You ready, buddy? <laughs> so we passed the first two tests. They don't care that we have a camera and they don't care if we have a dog. They actually love the dog, they gave him treats. Great day here at Cabela's. So now we need to find, wow, this is a nice one. Definitely not as big, I don't think, as the one in Delaware. What do you think, dude? You never see a guy with no head, huh? Oh, there's trout in there. Can you see that? Look at him. He's looking. He wants to go swimming. Yeah, every time you see stuff like that, like um, in Florida, there's like this human with the alligator head. He was barking his head off. Oh, let's see how he does with the polar bear. He's going to freaking bark it. I already know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what do you think, dude? What do you think? I mean, that's a freaking, if you're the dog this size, that's a terrifying animal to see. He's wagging his tail. He wants to play with the polar bear. You can't play with the polar bear, man. Look, he like thinks they're friends. Hey, 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 hey. We're not gonna play with the freaking wolf, dude. To the fishing section. All right, don't boop any of this stuff. This is not what we're buying here. Ooh. You ready, dude? Your first aisle. Let's do like one per aisle. Okay. That was, <laughs> did you see him boop that? Oh boy. So let me see, what exactly is this? Creek chub. This looks like a popper. Striper strike. Definitely saltwater, probably for striped bass. He boop, we buy, I guess. Ten freaking dollars, dude. You couldn't have picked like something just a little bit cheaper. A lot of this stuff that he's gonna be booping, we're gonna be giving away to you guys in this video. So stay tuned on that. Alright, he's booping. Oh, dude, he just booped $15 freaking soft plastics. Alright, let's go this way. Let's try this aisle right here. This is a bunch of bass fishing stuff. Alright, you ready, dude? Let's let him go. He's just coming right over to Kelsey. <laughs> Look at all this cool stuff over here. Oh, did he boop that? I think it's shaking. I don't know how much that is. The ones just like it are $9.99. <laughs> oh my God. Another freaking $4, $5, $6. dollars reach those. Nine, is that why they put them down there? Because people are doing fishing challenges with their dogs. More expensive or lures. So this is a deep diving KVD jerk bait. That's what we got. He's ready to go on to the next aisle. Let's just keep going straight. Oh, nope. We're following him. What do you think? Uh oh, we're not getting that. Let's go down this aisle, man. What do you think, dude? What do you think? He's that guy over there. <laughs> He's just staring at Look. Him. Oh, I think this was the first one. He like barely bapped it. He, he kind of did both. I think it was this one. Let's just get both. So this is a Cabela's go-to series, Lemon Lime. It's called a Hoochie Coochie. Right there, see that? And oh, yeah, it's the same thing. I guess this is a bigger one. So this is a three inch and there's a five and a half inch. This is a little bit bigger. All right, All right let's do one more aisle, dude. I also just kind of want to look around here and uh, I think they usually have like dog sections. So we'll get him a little something for being a good sport and just celebrating the first time at Cabela's, man. This is a big achievement. Camper, come here. Look at all this stuff. That's the camera. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was like a tie. Rewind that. $7.99. Which one do you think it was, Kelsey? I don't know. They're both shaking. Um, I'll put them down on the ground and see which one he goes to first. All right, Camper, which one of those do you want? Oh, went to the right one. It's like a little crankbait. Come on. Thank you for choosing all these. Thank you so much. So just a quick recap. This is pretty much everything we got. We're going to be giving all this away to you guys. So all you have to do to enter 
to win this giveaway is go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on and uh, just leave a comment down there. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. But I'm going to take a look around this fishing section and see what else they have because I've never been to a main Cabela's. Of course, you pick like the most expensive stuff, right? It only makes, only makes sense, dude. All right, so as I said, yeah, no, yeah, this is a big freaking Cabela's fishing section. It's actually bigger when you're in it. Now, later on in this video, like pretty soon, we're gonna be going saltwater fishing. So we're in a part of Maine right now where stripers are pretty prevalent. I want Camper to pick out something from here. You ready, dude? You ready? All right, go, we're here. Camper, here. <laughs> you're missing all the lures. Oh, there's another dog in here. All right, well, he was sniffing this one for a while. He is very distracted. This is a tournament speed shed i'm dropping everything we're gonna try to catch something on those later i am just as i said i should have got a basket i should have got a basket live shiners live eels oh it's crossed out dang dude night crawlers night crawlers what are they oh my god do you see how big that freaking crappy is camper look look at the fish oh my gosh Look, I'm looking at the crappy. Oh, a thousand. Oh, dude, that, that boat's a thousand dollars. It's got like some nice wood on it. thousand dollars. Jeez. There's no freaking way. 380 pounds. That thing is so freaking big. Dude. Hopefully this next year when we get up to Alaska, we're going to catch something like that. We have a freaking seaplane in here. Wait till he sees this, Ed. Oh my gosh. What do you think, dude? Boop it. We buy everything on this aisle. It's a freaking squirrel. Squeaking dog toy. He hasn't even seen this side yet. Camper, look. Goes for the giant boat. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we'll get that one. Look at this. This is like a, uh, it's like a duck. Yeah, like a duck skunk. All right, we'll get it. All right, stay. You know what's crazy? That toy is like as expensive as some of those lures. Freaking fishing is expensive, dude. What do you think, dude? <laughs> That's a happy boy right there. First time ever at Cabela's. What do you think? Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Let me talk to you. He thinks I'm gonna take it away, I think. Look how happy he is. That is a good boy. I think he likes Cabela's. We're out here today on a jetty. It is pretty windy. It's actually pretty freaking cold. And this tide, it's like way up. Let's just drop our sack right here. We're probably gonna do some walking. In this area in Maine though, as I was saying, man, striped bass is the species target. Right now, uh, we already have this tied on. I'm gonna throw this around a little bit. It's like a smaller little paddle tail. We have a bunch of different lures. I brought some pretty cool stuff in my bag. And we have the stuff we gotta try. I can't pick this out at Cabela's. Jeez, these conditions are so much different than the other day we were fishing. If y'all haven't seen that video, I'll link it down in the description below. We're just gonna kinda fish tight on the structure here at first. Good, how are you? Good, good. Any luck today? Uh, I actually just got out here. Oh, nice. It's I like one here yesterday, like almost exactly right here on a SP Minnow. Right on, bro. Good luck. Bro. Hey, you too, man. Thank you. Okay. Well, <laughs> due to the rougher seas, we kind of swap tactics here. Put on a bigger shad style bait. And uh, we've connected with a lot of seaweed. I might actually try to fish this other side in a little bit here. Just so much seaweed on this side, man. Yeah, look how big that wave is. So, the other day when we were here, there was a jetty that was sticking out. I don't exactly remember where it is. I think I'm kind of near where it is, but I'd have to think that there's gonna be some fish kind of swimming along that. Somebody else is out here with us fishing too now, so that is good. He said he caught some yesterday. It's just this uh, freaking wind is bringing up all this seaweed on this side. Definitely making it a little bit tougher, a lot of bit tougher. I don't know. I got some bucktails and stuff. Uh, we'll just keep throwing this bigger shad for a little bit. See if he gets anything, see if we get anything. Oh no, are we stuck? Oh, I think I found the freaking... Okay, I think that is where the other jetty is. Hello? All right, so we've been out here actually for a freaking while now. The tide's starting to go out. Um, right there, you guys can see that little jetty that's going out start to immerse from the underneath of the waters. So it's got a little less seaweedy, kind of ish, but yeah, man, it's a it's, it's tough right now. So we've thrown a small swim bait. We threw this 
pretty bigger swim bait. Right now, look man, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really use bucktails like ever. Not even for flounder fishing, not for any kind of, and this is like one of the lures. I feel like if you can master this, you can catch like a bunch of different stuff with it. So we're gonna try a bucktail out. Um, just kind of get it to the bottom, kind of bounce it around. I don't really know what to throw. I feel like people just throw random stuff on the back of bucktails. I threw a little Ned Rig turd on the back. <laughs> Is that like a good idea? I don't freaking know, dude. I know people throw uh, sometimes like little worms, sometimes like the spiral worms. I know a lot of people use like pork rinds and stuff like that. I, I don't know. I don't think it matters as much in the salt water. Maybe it does though. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Again, I re I like don't use this like ever. So we're gonna give it a shot. I've got um, a couple of my boxes out here. I would throw something like uh, I got a few SP minnows right here that color always has done pretty good for me this is the one we were throwing earlier just like a smaller little swim bait type thing I don't know we've got a bunch of different things that we could possibly throw I got this out in Montauk a while ago it's kind of stuck to my other stuff I don't really know even how to use that thing to be honest all right let's see if the good luck is in the hands of the bucktail so I think you just kind of let it drop, right? Just reeling up the slack right now. And as you're jigging it up, just kind of give it some bops. I would think that if there was some fish in here, I don't know why, I feel like they'd be more on the bottom. It's just fun out here, man. I just like thoroughly enjoy the chase. Just being out here, I mean, this is like a beautiful striped bass day. I know that they do not really like the sun that much. I know that like overcasty, kind of cloudyish days like this are usually pretty good. It's feeling a little lucky, man. Not gonna lie. Hopefully, this seaweed will get out of the freaking way. When you're fishing like this, especially out on a jetty, not on a boat in the salt water. I feel like you just gotta remember, man, that it's a big ocean. It's crazy, like, the amount of area these dudes have. Oh my gosh. I just saw one smack the top, I think, over here. Hold on a second. We might be onto one. And that's the, that's the thing, man. that's what I'm saying. If you're not on them, maybe you will be in a second. They could be swimming anywhere. You could be in the right place yesterday the wrong place the next day but you're in the same place if that makes any sense at all I think I saw one smack over here man am, am I working this too fast I see another one smack like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that wasn't just a rock, right? That was a fish. If I see that happen again, I might throw the swim shad back on. Because I know they definitely hit that if they're hitting bait. I'm just trying to get warmed up to this freaking lure, dude. I want to master it. I got a fish. Do I have a fish? Is that a fish? I got a fish, guys. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I got seaweed too, though. I got seaweed too, though. Hold on, is this a really big fish or am I just got seaweed and a fish? Dude, on the bucktail too? He's like running up to the right. Dude, this might be a really big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on a sec, <laughs> dude. Oh, please don't lose it. Oh. Where is he? Oh boy. All right, chill, 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 chill. Oh, that's a good freaking fish, dude. That's a, actually a freaking big one. How are we gonna get that up? We gotta be very cautious here. Oh yeah. It's gonna be tough to get him up. Grab the leader. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah. There we go. You gave me the good luck when you passed by. Yes, so, huh? <laughs> you told me it looked like a good day. Yeah, man. Oh no. Let me get him up real quick. I'll put you on Google Maps, man. Oh yeah. I'm a uh, local guy. I get over five million views on my. Uh, oh yeah. Stuff here, so. Very cool, man. Very cool. Thank you. Would That's you mind cool. actually taking a picture on my phone real quick? Yeah, that'd be great, man. That would be great. Appreciate it. Yeah. That's really cool. That you do the what, Google what stuff. What are you running for a system? For the phone? Uh, what was that? What, what kind of phone is it? Uh, iPhone. Man, you're gonna love this when you see it. <laughs> oh man. Thank you so much, man. I think you'll like that. Appreciate it. Yeah, look up Joe Wallace on Google Maps, man. Oh man. <laughs> Whew. That, that thing fought too. It was stuck in some seaweed, so it was like pulling real hard. How, uh, Whew. how many. Um, cool. Let me let him go. That's a good question. I think it's 32 inches. Right? Oh, that's really cool. Is that a cool shot? Yeah, it's like a good apple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the good apple in the orchard. You know? Yeah. Holy freaking crap, dude. <gasps> Let's go. Okay, so we did it. First fish of the day broke the ice on the bucktail. I'm telling you, man, I saw him out there. I saw a big splash. Now, shout out to that guy. He helped take a picture of me, but I also was talking to him for a little bit, so hopefully... If there is like a school around here, they're still around here. <laughs> it took a little bit of time, man. It's pretty cool dude though. He showed me, he takes pictures. He took a picture of an apple today he was showing me. So freaking cool though, man. I was just saying too, like I do not fish this floor that much. And this is honestly like fishing kind of on a downward angle like this. This is probably one of the better lures I could really use for this. Just because I could jig it. It's kind of tough with the swim bait because, I mean, you can still jig the swim bait. But, you know, if you want it to swim straight your tree, you're kind of at an awkward angle. <gasps> that was, dude, that was a freaking good fish, man. If you guys are not already, please be sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up on this video. So freaking cool. And we have a Ned Rig on the back. Does anybody, like, has anybody ever done that before? <laughs> fish a freaking Ned Rig turd. Oh, that's some seaweed, isn't it? That should be a fish. I'm just trying to get it out of its mouth. We don't got time for you, seaweed. So that's kind of saltwater fishing in a nutshell. You just need to be looking, man. Especially if you're from the shore or from a jetty like this. I mean, you can go right to left, but there's not, you know, that much room you can really fish. So when you get an opportunity or one presents itself kind of like that, you gotta be ready, man. I mean, that fish was just swimming all along here. And I, I actually started fishing over here too because I saw this bird. I have no clue what kind of bird it was. It kept diving down and diving up and stuff, but it was actually eating some bait fish. Like I could see it take it out of the water. So I was like, all right, bait fish should probably be fishing where they are. So we've been just kind of around here for a little bit. That was the first opportunity. <laughs> ah! I'm like so excited, man. I'm so happy. Just being out here, it's just so cool to me just being out here. You know, let me let me actually check that picture. But this is definitely my vibe. Oh, those are good pictures, dude. I'll pop one up on the screen right here. Ah, it's like a big puzzle using context clues, figuring out where the fish are. Especially with like saltwater, man, you gotta be watching out for the birds in the sky, see if there's any blitz. You gotta watch out for so many different things. I'm just, I'm happy, man. I'm. I cannot be, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> just, I'm cheesing out here on this rock. You can actually see right here pretty good how much the tide is coming up. Not much of crap on this. But, uh, or I mean going out, look at that. You can see the big jetty right there poking out. Uh, I love fishing, dude. Wish we could have taken camper out on these rocks too, but I just don't trust it.
that a fish? Oh, that is a fish. Oh my god, I got one. I thought I was snagged again. Okay. Okay. Let's relax. Oh, that's a pretty decent one too. Oh, that's a fat one. What the heck? Okay, this is gonna be tough to get up. Okay, that might not have helped. <sighs> okay, second one of the day. Oh, dude, this one is fatter. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Top of the mouth. Hook on him through both lips. It's a little dirty, but there we go, man. He looked fat. I mean, he is pretty thick. Second one of the day. Second one on the bucktail. I freaking love these fish, man. Send them back. Wish I could release them a little bit nicer. Oh my gosh, so is, is it the turd? What's going on, man? The Ned Rig striped bass method. <laughs> How frayed is our line? Yeah, we should retie that. Trust you, man. If you've been fishing around some structure like these rocks or, you know, you're fishing for some toothy critters or really whatever and your line is frayed, even just a little bit, please change it. <laughs> please, you don't want the heartbreak. I mean, think about it, especially the saltwater stuff. You spent so much time out here fishing and you know waiting for the right moment when the right moment comes you don't want to heartbreak you know i'm using pretty light-ish line here too i think this is like what is it like 17 pound fluoro so it's like pretty freaking light already so i'm definitely not willing to risk not you know yeah this video was way too much fun to make showing my son the place where i spent all my freaking money besides on him the other place where like all my money goes and besides food and that was so cool being out there on that jetty again if you guys didn't see the last video we were on that jetty for the first time in that one and that was pretty cool video but uh yeah man i've been having a ton of fun with the saltwater stuff i'm excited to do more saltwater stuff let me know how you guys are feeling uh, about these videos i'm finishing editing up this one real quick happy sunday too i'm posting this on sunday let me know what days uh, should I upload videos? Let me know, cause I've been doing Sundays, but like football's on Sundays. So like, I don't know if that's the best, I don't know. Real quick though, we're gonna get into the winners from, uh, I think it was two videos ago now. From the Walmart video, we got a whole tackle box full of stuff. The employee picked this out, it was like a random mystery box. If you haven't seen that video, go check that one out on the channel. But uh, yeah, man, we're gonna pick some winners. You guys are gonna get some free stuff. I'm not gonna tell you what you won. We're gonna pick a few winners and then uh, you guys will see when you see it. It'll be like another mystery box at your door. What of the mystery box is in your mystery box? All right, so the winners of the gear, we're gonna be popping them up right here. If this is you, make sure to go to Instagram, uh, send me a DM. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video today. Again, thank you guys for all the support. All I gotta say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.